What is going on folks? It's your boy Luke here, RM All Star 100, coming at you with a brand new LEGO Loot video. The 20th Anniversary Edition. Yes, that's right, the first LEGO Loot of 2020. So not a huge haul here today, but kind of a fun story. So that's why I felt like making this video and sharing. So let's start off with the big boy right here. We got set 75243, the Slave One, 20th Anniversary Edition. So the funny thing about these 20th Anniversary sets is I... When I first saw them, I was not the biggest fan. I was like, yeah, they're cool, they're okay. You know, the collectible minifigures, they're all right. You know, it's a fun little thing. And eventually, you know, over this past year, or however long they've been out, I ended up getting all of the 20th anniversary sets. So I have all the collectible minifigures, except for this one right here, until now. So $120, that's a pretty big set. But I went online, I redeemed a $50 VIP voucher so $50 off right there I have not redeemed my VIP points in like years so it's like all right I'm gonna use them on a big set and this is the one I got but not only did I get the $50 off I also had a $20 gift card given to me by my dear friend Caleb shout out to you Caleb um, and he gave that to me for my birthday so I doubled those I got $70 off this bad boy so I spent $55 but the thing was he was nowhere to be found. I checked my local Lego store, nothing. I went in there, I was like, dang, they didn't have it. I called like three other Lego stores and they had one, or they had two copies left in a store that was like 40 minutes away. So I'm like, all right, I'll head out there. You know, I'll pick this bad boy up. I'll get some other, the new, like the new battle packs and stuff, do an alternate build for y'all. That's coming very soon. Keep an eye out for that. But uh, yeah, so I drove 40 minutes out to get this bad boy. I called ahead, got it on hold for me, and I rolled up, checked the Lego store, and boom, there was like nothing. They didn't have like barely any of the 2020 sets. I think they like sold out really quick. So that's cool that, the, you know, they're performing well, but a bummer for me because I didn't get everything I was looking for. But still very grateful I got this bad boy for. $55 so very good find and because I spent $40 I got this Obi-Wan collectible minifigure I already have one so it's nice to have an extra one that I can keep safe and sound sealed forever and ever and on my way home I was like dang I kind of want some 2020 battle packs so I stopped at Meyer. that's a local store by me they didn't have anything. They're kind of whack. They don't even have like Series 19 minifigures yet. They're like a year behind. It's kind of whack. And then I stopped at Walmart and they had some 2020 sets, as you can see. They had a few Star Wars ones. They didn't have any of the battle packs, so that was another kind of bust. But I did end up getting these two Marvel sets. So we got the, uh, the Thanos mech. I'm very excited for that, especially that Thanos minifigure. He is looking sharp, really awesome cool looking figure i'm gonna build that up quick and this poly bag from captain marvel she's got her cool space suit on and we got another uh young samuel L. jackson so yeah that's just all i felt like sharing today you know had a long drive didn't get exactly what i want but still very satisfied saved a lot of money and we're having a good time so thanks for tuning in this was longer than i thought but as always make sure you have a great day peace Also got this promo little keychain, isn't that cute? Nice. Pink brick, purple, good stuff.